Hi everyone, my name's Arlene and I will be leading this session on PayPal. In this um, presentation, we will, be, we will be covering what exactly is PayPal, how to create your own PayPal account, and how to use your PayPal account. So what is PayPal? PayPal is essentially an online service for sending and receiving money online, and it can be used in association with your credit card or debit card. And it's widely recognized as being a very secure and trustworthy platform to be um, receiving and sending online payments. So there's also many pros and some cons associated with PayPal. PayPal is generally very easy to use. It's well encrypted and protects your data. And it's available on computers and phones. And you can send money to friends and family for free. However, Sometimes your um, it, PayPal can temporarily freeze suspicious activity on accounts. So if you're um, you went on vacation far away and it's like it can sometimes flag this as um, suspicious activity and you may be temporarily like lock, um, locked out of your accounts. And some banks also require transaction fees through PayPal. And PayPal accounts can occasionally be targeted by scammers. So now we'll be going into a little bit about safety. As we mentioned, sometimes PayPal accounts can be targeted by scammers. And they're often by someone emailing you disguised as a PayPal employee who requests your PayPal account details. Employees of PayPal will never ever email you asking for your account details or password or any other sensitive personal information. Once you have um, registered your PayPal account and registered your card, you should never give your uh, account details out to anyone. So now we'll be going into how to create a PayPal account. So to follow the upcoming steps on creating a PayPal account, you will require the credit or debt debit card that you wish to register with a PayPal account. If you don't have um, your card readily available right now, it's okay. Um, this presentation will be sent to you later on. So just follow th these steps at your own pace later if you'd like, or you can just um, follow along right now if you have your card. To start creating your PayPal account, just search paypal.com into whatever um, search engine you use, Google, Bing, whatever it may be. Then click sign up for free. This should show up in the center of the screen when you um, search paypal.com. Then click on sign up for a personal account, which will be found on the left panel. Next, it will prompt you to enter some account information and create a password. So it will ask you your email address, first name, middle name, last name, and for your password. Your password must be eight or more characters and must have at least one symbol in it. So I would recommend not using a password that you've used before and it shouldn't be something that's easily um, you can guess. And if you um, sometimes forget your passwords, I would write it down somewhere. So once you have finished this step, just click next. PayPal will then ask you for additional information to set up your account. Once you have finished entering your address, postal code, city, um, province, or state, and all the rest of the information, then click agree and create a, a create account at the bottom of the screen. By doing this, you are agreeing to PayPal's terms and conditions. If you would like to know a bit more about terms and conditions, I would advise you to read through them, although a lot of people don't, but it's up to you. So then just click agree and create account. Then you will be brought to this page to your right, right over here. Any of these buttons will ask you to add a card. So it can be either credit or debit card, whatever you have. So click on get started to register your card. And you should have the card handy if you'd like to register it right now or whenever. This page uh, to your right will ask you for information from the card you would like to use with PayPal. So it will ask you your card number, your card type, the expiration date, the security code, and your billing address. Once you have filled out all this required information, you can press link card. If you want to link multiple cards, if you have like multiple credit cards or something, there is an option to add another card later on. Once you have added your card details, you will be brought to the page to your right. It should look somewhat like this. 
And below shop online, which is right here, there is a link that reads, go to your PayPal account. You should click on this and it will bring you to all of your available options. So now you have finished setting up your PayPal account. After clicking the link, you will arrive at this screen to your left and it has many options on it. Now we're gonna go through a little tutorial which will only detail the very, very basic options, but there are so many features with PayPal. The first thing on your account is your balance, which currently would be $0. And this is because the money on your card is currently all in your bank. You can move money between your bank and your PayPal account with the transfer money button, which should be found under the balance. Your bank, however, as I said before, it may charge transactional fees. So just make sure you know this beforehand. Okay, so then the menu called recent activity, which is found underneath the transfer money button, will give you a history of your um, prior purchases and gifts. This can also inform you if someone else is logged into your account and has been buying stuff. So make sure to pay attention to this when you are um, in your PayPal account. And then the next option we're gonna be going over is how, like confirming your mobile phone. This allows you to manage your account with your phone. Link your bank, which is the rightmost button, will let you pay others through your bank with no fees applied. Confirming your email is another way to send and receive money. You can send money or gift cards by email to friends and family with a PayPal account and a registered email. The send button, which is the button right here, allows you to send money to another PayPal account through the PayPal application. Finally, the request button allows you to ask or remind other PayPal users to send you money as an invoice. So say you're a landlord and um, you're requesting money from your tenant, you can press this button. Shopping online. So this is a very popular one people use um, PayPal for. So you're able to pay online using your PayPal account. To do this, first find any items you'd like to buy from an uh, online catalog. Most um, online retailers like allow you to use PayPal. However, there are occasionally some exceptions. So when you're in the checkout page, there will be a section with accepted payment methods. One of these methods will likely be PayPal, which um, the logo looks like this to the right. Once you know the store accepts PayPal, you can follow their steps to check out the goods you'd like to purchase. When asked for a payment method, simply select PayPal and then enter your account password. Now your purchase will be complete, assuming you have enough money in your PayPal account that you have transferred over from your bank. Now we're gonna be going over how to manage your cards and accounts. If ever you need to update, add, or even delete your cards or accounts from your PayPal, you are going to want to click wallet, which is at the top center of your screen. You can also check your PayPal balance here. To make changes to your account details and set up extra security features in PayPal, there is a gear icon which allows you to um, change these settings in the top right hand corner of your screen. Under account, you will be asked to make, you will be able to make changes to your email, phone, address, and any other information you inputted while you were creating your account. Now the security settings. So if you visit the security page in your settings, you will be able to change your password, set up two-factor authentication, manage security questions, and add a PIN to your account. So these are just examples of the security settings that are available to you in PayPal. So as I stated, there, you can create or update your password, two-step verification, which adds an extra security layer to your account so that it's harder for someone else to access it, one touch, permissions you've given, security questions, and a customer service pin. We hope this served as a helpful introduction to PayPal.